his passion for science, his passion for, for people, and his passion to make a difference. They're all part of who he is. And that comes through no matter what he's engaged in. Whether he was engaged in the lab or whether he's, you know, working with a school district or he's working for the community at large in terms of making things better from a poverty standpoint or from an education standpoint or from a housing standpoint. You know, it, it's the same solid, uh, we can make a difference, we can get things done, and that curry, that passion to do it, just, just shine through all the time. Fundamentally have a deep and abiding faith in your humanity and the creative talents that can emanate from that fundamental humanity. Part of your defining your humanity, you must have a sense of history. And uh, the historical knowledge is very important because it shatters some of the myths or stereotypes that you may face in your daily life. I think Dr. Cooper is talented, he's brilliant, um, he's giving, he's humble. And I'm just grateful to know him. I'm grateful to know him. And I'm, and I'm grateful to know that there is someone that really can provide me the history. And, and he has lots of energy, too. Lots of energy, you know, 92 years old, still um, very focused on what's happening in our community and what the leaders can look to do and, and to go back and look at that historical context. When I was thinking about, um, I wanted to talk to him about voter campaigns, particularly in this time now. Um, and he was able to recall just some of the efforts that he had done back in the 80s called the big vote. And some of the things that he said were very um, applicable to this time period that we could use. And so he's just been helpful. He's been helpful. And I appreciate that I could call um, this human Google uh, to help me with anything. And I'm, I'm much appreciative. I hope that he's proud of the young men that we produced. Um, I, I really hope that he's proud of the young men because our guy, the young men that play for us are good character people who understand the tradition of W and J. Um, one of them is actually sitting in my office right now as I, as I speak with you. Um, he, he fits that bill. He's a senior. He's, he's worked hard for four years. And um, I just hope he, he realizes that he was the base for this and he was the building block for what we have built. Um, and, and obviously what was built by, uh, by John Lockhart before me, who was the coach before me, who just built our program up. And what we are, have become now, I hope he understands and realizes that he's kind of that building block that helped build this program. And, he always will be, and that will never be forgotten. He's been very generous to me, and I'm grateful for his leadership. I'm grateful for the work that he's done for the Urban League in Rochester. I mean, he's a civil rights leader, but by trade, a chemist, a scientist. And so, you know, the civil rights work that he's done, he's laid much more than a foundation. But, you know, as he said, this historical memory that we can go back to him and understand what was happening in that time period and repeat some of those things and of course make um, a, a additions to to make those efforts successful. Yeah, he, he is so revered by everyone that knows him. It just seems like he's lived his life the right way. And that's something that we strive to tell our players. Dr. Cooper, on behalf of uh, all the Kodak uh, community, but particularly the Kodak research community, uh, congratulations on this honor. Uh, you, you are always part of the Kodak family. We are proud of you and, and all that you do, all that you've accomplished. And uh, it's, it's nice to see that an individual who has made so many differences inside of the scientific community and in the community of Rochester, New York State, to be honored this way. So congratulations and uh, thank you for your service.